Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. You mean three of us because you just have to <laughs> discount me right then and there. Hey, a hot Friday afternoon across the region, but you have to admit it was beautiful out there. It's beautiful outside right now. That humidity, as we promised yesterday, really dropping off throughout the course of the afternoon. 91 degrees, the top temperature in town. Day number seven this summer season with highs of 90 or better. The summer average, 37 days outside right now. We have bright sunshine, as you can see. Really pretty out there. Great way to begin our weekend. 91 and 73, the extremes on this Friday. No raindrops in the old rain bucket. It will stay dry as we move through the night. It's sunny and even 90 in town. The humidity nice and low, 34%, a north-northwesterly breeze between 5 and 10 miles an hour. So all around the viewing area, boy, it's gorgeous any direction you go. North, south, west, east, we are talking about temps anywhere from basically 85 to 90. And we're going to just kind of stay put the next couple of hours. Once the sun dips below the horizon, those numbers will slowly drop off. Look at the quiet skies across the two-state region late on this Friday afternoon. We are watching showers and storms off to the west. They will impact us as well this weekend. More on that in just a bit. But this evening looks wonderful. Right around 90 at 7 will gradually slip into the low 80s once the sun goes down. And again, nice and dry and comfortable for your outdoor plans on your Friday evening. Okay. This is the next chance for rainfall in our region. You can see an area of disturbed weather creating a scattering of showers and storms across the middle sections of the United States. A little wrinkle in the jet stream located close to Omaha. That's going to continue to ride the jet stream and move off towards the east slowly the next 24 hours as it nears our chances for scattered showers and storms will begin rising. All right, here's tomorrow morning on the Futurecast, 6 a.m., clouds increasing. I think there's going to be a lot of dry time tomorrow, most notably the first half of the day. So if you have that tea time in the morning, it should be just fine, just some clouds rolling through. But in the afternoon, that's when the rain chances will start to go up. A scattering, not a complete washout for everybody, but a scattering of showers and storms expected to move in from the west. And we'll hold on to those chances even into and through tomorrow evening. So the bottom line, some impact weather on the way with scattered showers and storms. Greatest chances later tomorrow afternoon and evening. A few stronger cells are possible, but I'm not expecting a widespread severe weather outbreak. By Sunday... The system is through. There goes the front. Behind it, skies will become partly cloudy for the afternoon as drier weather moves in, pushing those temperatures back into the low and middle 80s. Here's your weekend forecast. Clear skies, warm and pleasant on this Friday evening, dropping back through the 80s. Detailed 12-hour forecast tomorrow. First part of the day is okay. And then impact weather in the form of scattered showers and storms Begin moving in through the afternoon and evening, your high 87. By Sunday, we're dry 85. And boy, Vicki Rick, here comes more heat. Lower 90s anticipated next Tuesday and Wednesday before more scattered showers and storms. At least the chances move in Thursday and Friday. Not a bad weekend. It's not going to rain the entire That's time. Good. Highest rain chances tomorrow afternoon and evening. Outside of that, we'll be dry the way things are looking. All right. Looks like a hot July. <laughs> yeah, how about that?